So what's the keratin implantation procedure? We now have some additional tools to help patients with keratoconus. So this is a condition where the cornea becomes irregular, thinned, and the steepest part of the cornea tends to sit down so that patients are peering over it rather than through the steepest part of the cornea. So it compromises their vision. We have treatments that can prevent further progression of the keratoconus, like corneal cross-linking. We also now have treatments that can change the shape of the cornea, improve the optic, and improve the patient's vision. With the carrying implantation, we use a femtosecond laser. This is the same laser we use to perform LASIK laser eye surgery to create the flap for LASIK. And it's also the same laser we use for SMILE keyhole laser eye surgery. So we use that laser to create a very precisely controlled tunnel within the cornea at a very precisely controlled depth. And then into that tunnel that's been created in the mid periphery of the cornea, I place a PMMA segment. This is a carrying. And we follow a nomogram. They come in different sizes, different arc lengths and different thicknesses. So this is very carefully calibrated against the shape of the individual cornea and also the thickness of the individual cornea is not one size fits all. We're not entirely sure how it works. It's either a bit like the underwiring in a bra, kind of pushing the cornea up, or it's a little bit like a reinforced steel joint in building, which is what I think is going on. So the, the cornea in keratoconus is not uniform. There is an area within the cornea that is weakened and is bulging forward and the carrying bridges from stronger cornea through the weaker cornea and back into stronger cornea, pulling it back in, and that improves the shape. For the patient, it's a, a very quick procedure. The laser tunnel is created in eight seconds, and then it takes me a minute or two just to very gently slide the ring into place, and then we put in some antibiotic drops. All of the procedure performed just with anesthetic drops on the surface of the eye very, very comfortable. The patient might feel a slight grittiness that evening. The next day they will feel really like they've had nothing done. And sometimes they're already starting to appreciate an improvement in their vision. We have a look at the eye in a week, make sure that the eye is healed nicely. Again, we will quite often find that there's already an improvement at that stage. But then we'll really judge it about six to eight weeks. That's enough time for the procedure to have settled down and for us to measure improvements in both the corneal shape and, more importantly, in the patient's vision. So do please give us a call on the number on the website or email us to ask for a callback and one of my team will be delighted to, to call you. And we can then walk you through the next steps. And if possible, we'd love to book you in for a free consultation at Custom Vision Clinic so that we can assess your lifestyle and visual needs and show you how we can help.